Hello everybody, welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date is February 24, 2016. Our discussion today is going to be on support. It's found 13 times in 13 Bible verses. First in Genesis 13:6, but the land could not support Abraham and Lot with their flocks and herds. There were too many animals for the pasture. In Le- Leviticus 22, uh, 12, and 13, if a priest's daughter is married outside the tribe, she may not eat of the sacred offerings. But if she is a widow or divorced and has no son to support her and has returned home to her father's household, she may eat of her father's food again. But otherwise, no one who is not in the priestly families may eat of this food. In Luke 8, 3, jo- Joanna, uh, Chusa's wife, who Chusa was a King Herod's business manager, uh, were contributing to the private means to support Jesus and his disciples. Also, Susanna was one of these. Uh, Mary Magdalene, uh, Martha, Mary, these all contributed to support of Jesus and his disciples. Revelations 2.9, I know how much you suffer for the Lord, and I know all about your poverty, but you have heavenly riches. I know the slander of those opposing you who say that they are Jews, the children of God, but they aren't for they support the cause of Satan. So what I'm getting here, as we know, Abraham and Lot, they became very rich. This is why they had problems. They were fighting among their their herdsmen and their slaves. Daughters of the priest, um, basically they can't eat of that. Many women take care of and fed Jesus and his disciples. Even after Jesus went to heaven, there were other women that actually helped to feed the apostles and disciples. If you follow Satan, you are no part of heaven. So this is a lot of information here, just in a short amount of time. Um, I believe personally that God will support all of us, and he always does. He provides for our needs. And because he does provide, uh, we know that he will continue to do so All we have to do is believe and do his work. Thank you, everybody, and have a blessed day.